has the okay. downfall of this iteration of the bills been overblown? Yeah, I, I think so. I, I think it's correct that they're the favorites to win the AFC East next year. I, I feel like sometimes when teams make it really far in the postseason and then they lose, and of course they were missed field goal away from advancing, um, we tend to overreact to that instead of reacting to what got them to that point in the first place, which is, in the Bills' case, one of the three best quarterbacks in the NFL, at minimum, in my opinion, uh, an offense that was incredibly efficient last year and returns most of the key players outside of the center, a defense that, despite some very serious injuries last se season, finished eighth overall in defensive efficiency. They get the player who I think is probably their best player on defense, Matt Milano, their middle linebacker, back. There's some losses for sure, but when I look at the playoff teams and the pieces that they've lost and I look at the landscape of the AFC East, I'm still picking this team to win the division. I'm still picking them to advance in the postseason as well. You know what? It doesn't surprise me, but I'm going to agree with Mina here. I, I think you have to look at the Bills and say, what will they be? And we don't know, but what we do know about them is that they have the answer at quarterback. And to me, that solves a lot of problems that any team would have. When you even look in their division, the only reason some of us would give the Jets a, a puncher's chance is because of Aaron Rodgers, because of that quarterback position. Listen, this is a Bills team that had to move on from familiar faces, very good players, but aging players. But bringing back Taylor Rapp, Daquan Jones, Matt Milano, like though, that makes me feel better about this team. This is a team that I think will have 11 draft picks as well. So you knew that they were going to come into this offseason looking to clear some sal salary cap space, and they've done that. And so far, when you've looked at their roster and the way they draft, you have to give credit to GM Brandon Bean for at least getting this team in a position where each year the Bills with that quarterback – Always have a chance. When you got Josh Allen, anything's possible. See? Now, look, 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 Mina. You understand? I got to be careful because I'm talking to Mina here and Kimberly, and we know y'all know y'all stuff. But allow me to just throw a, a couple of statistics because they kind of matter to me, okay? Do you know that over the last four seasons, the Bills have the second most regular season wins in the NFL to the Chiefs, 51-48? Did you know that? Did you know that they also rank second in scoring offense and first in scoring defense over the last four years? Did you know Did that? You know that? Did All right. You know that? Did you know that since in that four season stretch? Excuse me, since 20, <laughs> since 2020, going. Mm -hmm. Buffalo has played in only one AFC championship game, which came back in 2020, and they've had no Super Bowl appearances. Their downfall has not been overblown. It hasn't. It's, it's about Super Bowl expectations at some point, is it not, Mina? Is it not? Right. Me well, let me ask you this, Stephen A. Yes. Do you are you picking them to win the division this year? So Do you think they'll win the AFC? So uh, yes. Yes. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because see, I know you. You know you. You. You hang out with the boys in, in, in South Beach, the Levitards, and those are my boys. So I love them. But you know, yeah. I, I, I know that. Let's let, let's get that out the way. I can say that because those are my boys. Here's the point. Here's the point that I'm trying to make <laughs> to you, Nina. In Miami, get them away from Miami, and they don't know how to act. They can't. They like allergic to inclement weather. So we we gonna dismiss them, okay? Somehow, some way, in November and December, when the weather gets a little cold in other parts of the country, that's when they gonna mess up. I could go with that. The Jets, we got to wait to see what Aaron Rodgers is gonna do because he's coming off of the Achilles tear. I know he's out walking around and throwing footballs. Damn it, they ain't the same as dropping back to pass and throwing that bad boy. Especially when you listen to Nathaniel Hackett in your ear too. Don't get me started with that. And New England's just New England, okay? I wish Mayo and the crew nothing but luck. But we got to wait and see. I mean, by default, the Buffalo Bills are going to uh, gonna be considered the favorites in the AFC East. But when you talk about Baltimore, when you talk about Cincinnati, even to a lesser degree Cleveland, when you look at Houston, when you look at Kansas City, hell yeah, you're thinking about them before you think about the Buffalo Bills. And when I think about that, with Josh Allen as being your quarterback, with the greatness that he can put on display and the expectations that come with it, now I'm seeing you got rid of Gabe Davis. He's gone. Stephon Diggs doesn't really want to be there, whether he's willing to come out and openly admit it. Now I'm telling you what I know. You got to figure out how I know. If I'm telling you what I know. The brother would rather be someplace other than in Buffalo, okay? You do have to win See, regular season, go with the pause. Regular pause, season pause. Games. You're doing, You're doing that again. You do that. She does the pause to me, Mina. She does the pause to me. Express. Josh Allen, top three quarterback in the NFL. So we're talking about Super Bowls. Do what you I'm saying, ladies, that do you at least think that the Bills have a shot? They have at a competing shot. Fine. With the Chiefs. Fine. Who, okay, Fine. So but a couple of years ago, we were talking about them. Listen, only Patrick Mahomes is really standing in their way. Well, there's a few teams that are standing in their way. 
There's a few teams is what I'm trying to say. That's what I mean when I'm talking about the downfall is overblown. I'm not telling you ain't going to make the playoffs. I'm not telling you that Josh Allen ain't going to do his thing. I'm saying that when you think about the Buffalo Bills now, compared to how you were looking at them two, three years ago, there's been a precipitous drop-off. The great Mina Khans, I know you ain't going to deny that. That there's been a drop-off with the Bills? Um... I don't think so, actually. Oh I mean, I, I, would I consider the amount of adversity that they overcame last year to get as far? Again, Stephen A., field goal away from beating the Super Bowl champions. I guess I, I feel like we're overrating that, how close they got. That's what we're doing. That's and what, that's, I do that's think, what we're doing to Kimberly's now. point, that's what we're doing now. I mean, so in other they, words, they, they got to get There's blown. an opportunity they, here to, for the roster to get younger and more talented as well. Okay. So that's what we got to do now. We got to go by, oh, all right, they didn't get blown out like the Cowboys did to the Packers. They went down 48-16. It was Fuck. a competitive matchup. They came within a field goal. Damn it, the Buffalo yeah. Bills were home before the AFC Championship game yet again. That's not what our expectations were of them two, three years ago. We were looking at Josh Allen knocking on the door of a Super Bowl championship. I, now I we're guess. wondering whether – now we look at other quarterbacks in the NFL. What? If Joe Burrow was healthy, Lamar Jackson doing his thing – Patrick Mahomes is there. You talk about where would he rank? Fourth, fifth in the AFC conference zone? I don't believe that, but I'm saying this is how he gets talked about from time to time as we look yeah. at the Buffalo Bills. Come on, y'all. I'm not making this up. Sure. Well, you, you mentioned the Texans who, frankly, you know, did get a little embarrassed at the end of the playoff. This is an ascendant team. I'm very excited about them, but... Uh, you mentioned the Ravens, who you talk about how teams played against the Chiefs. The Bills played them significantly better. Again, I just I don't hear a good reason for why these teams are overtaking Buffalo I, I, when we I, consider I, Mina, the landscape Mina of said, the NFL. I, I I hear a lot of talking, but I'm not hearing no points. Is what I, she just I, said. I feel okay. y'all. I so, feel y'all on that. As... I feel y'all on that. Respectfully, I don't give a damn. I know what I'm saying. I'm saying to you, when you look at the Buffalo Bills, okay. When you look at what our expectations were of them a couple of years ago, it has dissipated somewhat. That's By the way, I don't view the Baltimore Ravens as playing worse against the Kansas City Chiefs. Offensively, they were a bit anemic. But shoot, Dave, Zay Flowers don't fumble that ball in the end zone. We might we're looking at things, we're looking at it differently. That one interception that Lamar Jackson, the defense played lights out in that particular game. There were two drives to start off the game that Kansas City moved the ball effectively. Outside of that, what would they do? They were the three points the last three quarters of the game. Let's not act like that's the, 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 right, well, just some not, blowout. Okay, pause. Fair. Let's not act like every other team in the AFC, when you talk about the Bengals, when you talk about the Ravens, when you talk about the Jets or the Texans, don't have questions that they also have to answer. The Ravens lost a lot of pieces that's in right. free agency, but they did get Derrick Henry. Okay, offense seems all right. However, what about the defense? Geno Stone, Patrick Queen. So when you look at the Bengals, they actually lost some pieces but on they the offensive line. Oh, wait, give me a second. They lost some piece on the offensive line. What's happening with T. Higgins? They have the quarterback, but will they have some other pieces? Every other team in the AFC has questions to answer. But when I look at the AFC, it is the quarterbacks that make me feel better about certain teams over other I'll give teams. It to, I mean, I right, give it to you. All, all I'm trying to say is that a couple of years ago, we were talking about the Buffalo Bills possibly winning the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about them right now. That's all we mean Mina by the said, downfall. We're talking about the dissipation. Yourself, That's it. I think we should ahead, be. Still don't, they're not, it makes sense. It makes sense. Not, Just because you ain't listening don't not, mean I'm wrong. Uh, um, you hear what you want to well, hear. I think, Maybe I think, hear Stephen A, I think <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Go ahead, Mina. Go ahead, Mina. No, I hear you, I hear you that you know, we held Pat, Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes as this great rivalry, but... It's becoming like, you know, Serena Sharapova at this point. So I hear you yeah. on that. Like, if, if we were thinking of them as going back and forth and one's going to win and one's going to win, that's not how this plays out. But, again, they were a few goal away from making it. And, and, and beyond that, when I look again at the AFC, no doubt the landscape has gotten more difficult since then. I just think that the Bills have maintained their status. in When we look at the AFC and we end up ranking teams going into the season, I am still going to view them 
Behind the Chiefs, yes, but certainly as a favorite to advance in the playoffs and go far. I hear Mina just fine. I, I, rem she's I, re I remember, I remember the Bills getting rid of their offensive coordinator. I remember some people talking about how McDermott might not be the dude for them. I've heard all of those things. That uh, that doesn't sound like a team that's just floating along and elevating okay, okay. itself along said, the way. You're, you're, I'm not, just you're not going to sway them. That's just, cool. Just they ain't going to sway me either, Molly. Okay. Guess me. what? We'll all be back. But I love y'all. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Let's but I ain't scared. Let's